Alima Ebola Treatment Center services one million forest region Guineans. There are 40 beds. Half of them are occupied. Teresa and her husband Sakoma are here to visit Teresa's brother Adam, an inpatient Ebola sufferer. We did everything we could, the center physician informs. Teresa has already lost her mother, another brother, and six other family members to the virus. Sakoma is tasked with breaking the news to the deceased's wife and brother, both Ebola patients here, from beyond a safety net. The victim's eight-year-old son, Feliz, a suspected contact case in the children's nursery, is spared the bad news for now. Within half an hour, grave diggers prepare a plot for Adam's body. The final resting place for Zerakora's latest victim of Ebola. No family members are present, there's no ceremony, and the burial is in a mass graveyard with numbers marking the graves rather than names. This is a very bleak ending in the wake of what is a very bleak epidemic. But for this family, the Ebola nightmare is not over yet. I'm worrying about uh, my wife, my wife's health. If she is found negative, I can return home with her. If possible, uh, positive, they can take her. Half an hour later, Teresa has dysentery and is vomiting. She is taken by the center. A microcosm of Ebola's ricochet effect, the deadly virus has struck this family again. Stephanie Fried, CCTV, Zerakore, Guinea.